Today's plan on the bug motor is to work on the oiling system. Now, if you're not familiar with the way these VWs work, you have your oil pump in this hole here. On the other half of the case, it's got an inlet that comes in, that goes down to the pickup tube, then the outlet hole is right there. From there, the oil flows up across here and there is a valve up in this chamber here. Up in that hole is a valve that right now I'm not able to get out. It's stuck in there. Now that valve is got a spring loaded and it's got this plug that holds everything in place. So what this does, and this is what they call the dual relief case. It was the more modern case. It's what happens when you start the motor, the oil is cold. Normally the oil flows up through here and then goes through the cooler. Okay, when the oil is cold, you don't need it to go through the cooler. You can actually overpressure the cooler and blow it up. So it pushes that plunger back and that lets your oil go. Instead of going through the cooler, it follows this path here and goes right straight into your main bearings. And the secondary relief, like I said, this is a dual relief case. There was another relief back here at the back, at the very tail end of the oiling system. And what that would do is if the pressure just got too high in general, for whatever reason, it would vent the extra oil back into the case instead of uh, overpressurizing anything. Okay, that's how the dual relief works. This is my trusty H case and it has the same setup except being a single relief it doesn't have the relief on the back half of the case at the end when the oil is first started and it's cold it bypasses it can bypass the cooler just like the uh, dual relief case but instead of having the relief at the back end of the oiling system, it has another port right down in that hole. So point it out. Right here. So it'll slide the plunger down some to bypass the oil cooler. And then if it has still has too much pressure, it will slide down even further and vent oil out this hole back into the case, just like the dual relief does at the end of the oil system. This hole down here is just to release any oil that gets past that little piston because it's it's a snug fit in the bore. It's got a slide, but a little oil can get past it, so it had to have somewhere to go. But that, you can see the spring in that hole, but that's just to let it out. That one actually vents, that top one actually vents oil back into the case if the pressure is too high. So what we've done is since we have cut off the secondary relief on this, we need to go in and basically duplicate what the single relief case does. And we're going to have to drill a hole right in there to let extra oil pressure or let extra oil go back into the case so you don't have super high oil pressure. So as soon as I figure out how to get that piston out of there, we'll drill a hole in the right spot here. And that will give us, uh, I think it was like 40 to 50 pounds of oil pressure according to the plans. What I'm going to do now is this plug here, this plug here, and this plug here. I'm going to take those three out, and hopefully I can get the piston shoved out of there and then get everything cleaned up so the piston moves good. And then we will tap these and use screw-in plugs. Just like we're going to do on the back end of the oiling system where that would have went to the dual relief. We're going to have to plug that up with a plug. So right now I need to get those plugs removed and then get that piston out and then I can clean up that bore to where the uh, little piston will slide properly. But that is the difference between your dual relief and your single relief cases. The other difference is that the dual relief has bigger oil passages all around. See the size of those oil holes for the cooler? Single relief is much smaller. I think the regular oil galleries going through the block are smaller. But the thing is, you're using 
you've got a lot less engine, you've got less bearings, everything to lubricate. So you're going to be, you're going to have more lubrication than you need now with the stock pump. So having a dual relief case is, in my opinion, not that big of a deal. I may be wrong, but I'm thinking the single relief case will work just fine for a half VW application. Where are these at? The way I got these plugs out is I drilled a pilot hole right in the center, and I'm going to drill it out to 7 16 because that's what you'd use for a quarter inch pipe plug. And that's what we'll be putting back in there. And the hole is just a little bit bigger than 7 16 anyway. So we'll drill with the 7 16 then we'll lightly screw this in there and then walk the plug back out. Don't get into the sides of the hole. This looks kind of destructive, but all it's doing is digging into that plug. It's not touching the case at all. And the plug is starting to rotate. So we'll just pull up as we rotate. And there's the rest of the plug. Hole is completely undamaged. The one more. And be careful on this one because that piston is behind there. So when you're drilling, you don't want to drill into your piston. like before and as usual most things don't work the same way twice this one's got a good bite on it but the plug is not turning let's put some vice grips on there get a pry bar and there we go that one came out too in case you're interested in so you visualize this a little better this right here is the outlet for the oil pump like I was saying, it comes right up to here at the top of the piston. Okay. From there, it goes to your oil cooler. And it also branches off across here to your pressure sensor. Well, then, Goes through the oil cooler, hits the other side. Well, it comes out the back here where it would go to the back mains, but it also sprays out through the main bearings. So right now we need to get that piston out of there and I'll show you how it bypasses. The way I'm getting that piston out of there is this hole here goes down and across right to the top of the piston so I took a piece of welding rod which is pretty flexible the end was already nice and round from where I had welded the last time put a little angle on it got it in there got it around the corner and then was tapping this with a hammer as you can see down in that hole it's pushing the piston back no problem so I'll try to go ahead and get that shoved on yeah, I was a little. I got the piston out. There's the little piston. This goes on the end of that spring. I was a little off on the actual oil path. You know, it goes through the cooler normally until it pushes the piston down, but it doesn't go up through this. It exposes the other side of this hole here. As you can see, that is the main oil galley. 
the one that comes out on the back side of the case that we'll be plugging and from there it flows to your bearings and then back up to this one up here so same difference just a little different routing than what i said earlier but it does the same thing it pushes it down past here Pistons usually got this port block completely off. It starts pushing it down because of extra pressure, and then it starts flowing straight down the galley here to the main bearings. Now, what we need to do is this hole here goes to the main bearings. We need to drill a hole right in there, slightly downhill from that, so if when it's pushing on the putting oil to the main bearings if the pressure's still too high the piston will go a little further and start squirting out oil there to keep from having too much pressure and right there is the required hole for oil pressure relief it needs to be uh two and five sixteenths up from the bottom here or basically straight in line with your upper oil pump stud and that should give you According to the plans, about 50 pounds cold, 45 pounds hot oil pressure. The way we're talking, it'll slide down bypass the cooler. If you still got too much pressure, it'll slide down and start puking oil out here. So I'm going to get, and the other reason you want to take all this stuff out, see that's kind of nasty. I don't know if you could see down that oil galley, it was crusty too. So that's another reason you want to take all the plugs out of the engine. All these on the front. So we'll run pressure washer, run brushes down and make sure everything is perfectly clean. I'll probably get a new, I think you can get these in a kit because that spring is ancient. I'm telling how many times it's been heat cycled. This is a little messed up. So I'll try to get a new oil pressure relief valve assembly and put it in there and i will tap all these holes before i do any more cleaning so i can get all the shavings out of that then it's pretty much back plate and clean 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 ought to have it spotless well that's all for now as like yesterday it's 100 and some degrees out here so i'm gonna find something cooler to do thanks for watching like and subscribe appreciate it catch you next time